मिस्टर डेप्यूटी चेयरमैन सर बिफोर एडजॉनमेंट आई वॉज डीलिंग विद द क्वेश्चन ऑफ सेलेक्शन एंड अपॉइंटमेंट ऑफ जजेस एंड द पार्ट द गवर्नमेंट वॉज प्लेइंग इन द मैटर आई पॉइंटेड आउट हाउ द गवर्नमेंट हैड बीन डिस्क्रिमिनेटरी इन सच मैटर्स I would beg of you to ask the honorable minister not to evade the issue that I have raised because there is a tendency on the part of the government to evade certain issues involving principles whenever they have no straight answers to give even if some answers could be given they do not feel like giving those answers for reasons best known to them now my allegation here has been this and to the best of my knowledge everything is true of course part of it can be corroborated from the election commission as to whether a defeated congress candidate had been appointed as a judge of the high court of calcutta and the other part of it can be ascertained by the government from the persons concerned that is to say the former chief justice of the calcutta high court now the point that i want to make is this when the chief justice had recommended somebody that recommendation should not have been set aside on the basis of a police report a cbi sub inspector certainly is not a higher personality in our setup than the chief justice of a high court and yet the recommendation was rejected as everybody knows on that basis on the basis of the police report generally drawn up by cbi sub inspectors of the regime now sir in the matter of selection of high court judges extreme care should be taken so that no extraneous considerations come in therefore sir i would suggest that in the matter of selection and appointment of judges the whole thing should be left to the judiciary itself to the chief justice of the high court and finally to the chief justice of the supreme court it is possible for the government to delegate these powers to them now you will say that there are certain administrative considerations and other things they can come into the picture if it is a question of appointment of an officer or a district judge by promotion to the high court bench but in other matters the high courts generally know what is to be done the president being the head of the state comes into the picture and the administration is involved in that way but the cabinet or the council of ministers should never enter into the picture as far as such matters are concerned let there be some discussion about such matters so that we can arrive at certain arrangements why i say this is because otherwise there will be no protection against discrimination there will be no protection against mischoice and there will be no protection against 
certain extraneous considerations influencing such appointments now sir i am not at all making any point against the congress government as such i am only dealing with the question of principle it may be a congress government or it may be any other government for instance in kerala there is that communist led government and in other states it is the congress government i am not going into all that i think that we can discuss this matter as a matter of principle such appointments should be made by the judges of the high courts and by the judiciary itself that is the main point that i want to stress in this connection we have seen that not only the defeated candidates but sometimes some active politicians also whom the ruling party cannot otherwise oblige are appointed as judges there may be a good reason for doing that thing or not i do not know but such things do happen sometimes and in fact such things should not happen it should appear to the country that the whole thing is being handled without any kind of interference or political prejudice and so on now i understand that they will not be willing to accept such an arrangement because they are not prepared even to allow the judges to settle the question of their own vacation i can understand their difficulty because i know the frame of their mentality but then that is not good and in order to ensure integrity this should be changed secondly sir i think there should be two types of appointments one by direct recruitment from the bar and another of course by promotion promotion is no doubt very important but equally important is the direct recruitment now today we talk about dynamic things yesterday when the prime minister was speaking well signs had been linked with matter i do not know how things are being evolved matter has been linked with the spirit but here we are concerned with the dynamic and social progress now i think we should have a proper type of men for our bench that is very important